Why do we tend to compete with the people closest to us? You were talking about sibling rivalries earlier. Why do we pick the people who we're closest to? Well, there are a couple of reasons. So first of all, the people closest to us, those are the people that we're most likely to compare ourselves to. Mm. Now, these comparisons are incredibly pervasive. When we try to figure out how we're doing, so am I making enough money? Do I need to remodel my kitchen? Do I need a new car? We're trying to make these decisions. It's hard for us to figure it out in some objective terms. I don't know how good my vacation really was until I go into Facebook and see everybody <laughs> else's vacation. Good for that, isn't it? <laughs> right? uh, and we're engaging these, these comparisons. Yeah. And the most intense comparisons are with people close to us mm -hmm. in self-relevant domains. By self-relevant, I mean if I really care about my work, then it's the person in the cubicle next to me who's doing similar work. That's going to be my benchmark. Mm -hmm. Often our siblings serve as ready benchmarks. They're always available. Uh, At every stage of life. <laughs> throughout life. I mean, I mean, as we go through life. So almost every decision that we make, we need to, some feedback. Am I doing well or not? Did I get married at the right time? Is it too early, too late? Do, am I having the right number of kids? I mean, these are complicated decisions. Even do I weigh the right amount? Mm. We look around, and the people closest to us serve as these benchmarks. And they help inform us to figure out how am I doing? And so whether we like it or not, even non-consciously, we're going to be comparing ourselves mm -hmm. to the people closest to us. And sometimes that's going to be helpful and constructive. It'll give us some, some good information. Uh, yeah, maybe I should be buying insurance or maybe I should be doing something else that's, you know, going to the gym is perhaps a good idea. But sometimes it's going to drive us crazy with these comparisons mm -hmm. and it can make us perfectly miserable. And so that's why People who check Facebook a lot, um, there have been studies looking at how they actually engage in so many comparisons, they're actually a little less happy. Uh, yeah. So we want to think about how we find the right balance here too in, in comparing ourselves to people in a ways that can motivate us, help us be engage in constructive behaviors, but not make us perfectly miserable by recognizing we can't ever you know, beat everybody else out there. Mm. It's like driving on the highway and you're trying to pass every car. You can't win. Uh, we need to figure out a way to balance mm. those two drives.